Hey everybody, if you agreed with the title of this video, then I ask you to please stick around and hear what I have to say. I'm gonna to try to make this short and sweet. Today I wanna to debunk the notion that only white people can be racist and that if you're a minority, you lack the power to be racist. Um, I'm gonna talk about that, try to address that and dispel that real quick. And I'm also going to try to give you a working definition of how I distinguish pre prejudice and racism which are really essentially very fundamentally the same, but I'll give you my definition of how I feel that they're different. Uh, thanks for taking a listen to what I have to say, and I hope to hear your comments afterwards and below. So I will start by saying that cops are by no means perfect, and like the proponents of Black Lives Matter and other uh, groups critical of police officers, I'll say, of course, there is some racism in society, which, you know, I'd say it's un undisputable that there's racism in society, um, of the white against black variety and of other varieties. So by that realization, by, by recognizing that, we have to understand that some percentage of cops um, or people of any group or any profession will in fact be racist and discriminatory along the lines of race in the work that they do. So if there's racists in society, there's going to be racist cops. Doesn't mean that all cops are racist, doesn't mean that all chefs are racist, doesn't mean that all janitors are racist, but there'll be racist people in probably almost definitely every one of those groups going on. The notion that racism requires power is a massive miscategorization of what racism means, and this is perpetuated by the progressive left. Um, first of all, every single person has power. Just because you aren't the minority, or because you are the minority rather, doesn't mean that you can't be racist. And just because you aren't a cop doesn't mean that you don't have power. If you're a black person that hates all white people, and of course there are white people that hate all black people, but just for the sake of this explanation, if you are a black person that hates all white people, even if it's because of some white against black racism that you've experienced in the course of your life previously, your hating all white people is still racist. You don't have to be the dominant class in society to be racist. Um, prejudice, just to distinguish here, prejudice is the discrimination based on any factor. So it could be, you know, the fact that you're a geek or she's a woman or they're feminist or they're iPhone people. Any discrimination based on any group affiliation, oh, that person's a janitor. I hate janitors. That's prejudice. You're judging an individual based on their group affiliation when that group affiliation has no positive or negative quality, uh, quality to it in regards individual moral character. So if someone's a janitor, it's unfair to say that they're a bad person. You might say that they're a working person, but that's accurate. Um, if someone's a Ku Klux Klan member or possibly even a Black Lives Matter protester, it raises the question of, are they a bad person? Not because of the color of their skin, if that's implied, but because of the things that they're affiliated with. Um, so I'm not going to go into that right now. But prejudice, prejudice is a discrimination based on any factor regarding group. And it's unfounded, right? It's, it's, it's an unfair characterization in all cases. Racism is the same exact thing, but it's solely restricted to matters of race. So that's really it. Um, an Indian person could be racist against a Chinese person. A white person could be racist against an Asian person. Um, a Native American person could be racist against a German. All of those matters of race are, if they're discriminatory, are examples of racism. So, to perpetuate the idea that blacks can't be racist because they don't have power in society is actually a form of anti-black racism in and of itself. It creates a victim mentality among blacks and excuses some blacks for anti-white racist behavior. So if you're an anti-white black person and you spit in a white person's food before you bring it to their table, just because you're not a cop doesn't mean that as a server or a fast food restaurant worker that you can't be racist. If you, if you, if you aren't even employed um, and Plenty of other examples could come to mind. Whether or not you're employed, if you throw a rock through my window and you simply targeted me based on the fact that I have white skin, that is, in no uncertain terms, racism. The notion that you are 
disempowered because you're black or any other group, it, like I said, is in of itself a racist mentality. And if your own group, whether it's the liberal media or whether it's Black Lives Matter, is telling you that you can't be racist because you're not part of the dominant class in society, is irresponsible, it's reckless, it's racist, and it's going to lead you to have a chip on your shoulder and be mad at anybody until you're the dominant class of society, which will likely never happen if you're going to take a, a course of forceful action, um, basically committing race crimes and not, not classify them, classifying them as such until you conquer the dominant class. Um, as bad as some white people have been over the course of history in terms of race, there are many who fought on the side of freedom and liberty, and many who earned the ability to be white and not racist simply as a function of our skin. Um, by telling black people that they can't be racist is like saying all white people are racist. It's a miscategorization, and it's extremely damaging to society. Um, if, you, if you're taking any kind of discriminatory action based on the race of your target, it is not only racially motivated, but it is actually a race crime. Anytime you harm another person based on their race, whether you're black, whether you're white, whether you're Asian, whether you're Mexican, it doesn't matter. If it is racially motivated, it doesn't matter what part of society you inhabit, you are conducting and committing a race crime. Hope this clears it up for some of you guys. If anybody disagrees with my perspective, my point of view, please tell me where and how I went wrong, and I'll be more than glad to respond to your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.